Saturday. Happy weekend. Today's gonna be a sick Saturday. It's gonna be so much fun. So many friends. Olivia Rodrigo. No, truly. When, like the rest of the world, when Driver's License came out, I'm adding Dreamer today. I listened to that song like quite possibly a thousand times. <laughs> I actually wonder if Spotify has that kind of stat. Have some delicious eggs with some truffle hot sauce. I'm gonna FaceTime with Jill this morning. Got out of bed at 10.30, like it's a Saturday. Feels good. Welcome to the vlog. Okay, I'm gonna start getting myself ready in a bit, but this vlog is actually sponsored by Brooklinen. I have had their sheets on my bed for years now. So I'm so excited to have a second set because I might be 29 years old, but I do not have currently a second set of sheets. I think I did at one point and then I don't know what happened to them. But anyways, now I do. If you haven't heard of Brooklinen by some chance, they're a luxury sheets company. They have high quality home goods to elevate your home. And I have loved my sheets for years. How do I open this box? Brief hold. If you know me, you know how important it is to me to have the comfiest bed ever. Like I talk about this all the time. And it's definitely important to invest in nice high quality sheets that are not only going to last you a long time, but also get softer as you wash them. So I got the Lux Hardcore Sheet Bundle, which actually saves you 20%. I got the Lux Sateen, which is their number one bestseller. Obviously we go for the best of the best. And classic me, I went for white, but they do have a ton of colors and patterns and new styles all the time, seasonal colors. If you are gonna get a set, you can still mix and match all the different colors. There's like over 20 different colors and patterns with different pillowcases and duvet covers. But they also do have over a hundred thousand five-star reviews which is more than any other sheets company online so if you don't trust me trust everyone else <laughs> we have the duvet cover and then we have the core sheet set which has a flat sheet fitted sheet and two pillowcases so we take these down to the wash we're gonna wash them and then they're going on the bed so when i get home from my wonderful evening out i'm gonna have fresh sheets <laughs> Just did my makeup for tonight while waiting for my sheets to dry. Sheets are dry, so let's put them on my bed and then I gotta get dressed. They are so soft, I'm so excited. Fresh sheets are just like a special little treat. Best feeling ever. I love fresh sheets and these ones are so soft. Like I'm so excited to crawl in tonight. It's gonna be so cozy and warm and fresh and just, mm. I love it. Brooklyn and did give me a code to give to you guys if you're looking to try out some new sheets. They're super high quality, so nice. I highly, highly recommend. You can use the code TaraXMichelle for $20 off any order over 100 bucks. Link is down below, definitely check it out. I got 20 minutes here until I'm leaving the house. I have my FaceTime with Jill. Lots of really fun wedding talks. She's gonna make a vlog soon with an update for you guys, but lots of exciting stuff coming up. I'm heading down to the pre with Sarah and Rachel. So they're coming here and then we're all heading out together, but I gotta, <laughs> I gotta get dressed. Rachel goes, my Uber is probably so confused with this outfit at 3 p.m. Sarah goes, mine too, a few Y2K 30 year olds. I know I'm gonna feel so old tonight at this concert. I feel like anyone over the age of 25 is like old at this concert, but like we love Olivia. It's gonna be so fun, I'm so excited. Okay, I gotta stop, I gotta stop, I gotta get ready. Okay, option one, we have this little skirt and this bodysuit, honestly, I don't really know how I feel about the bodysuit, but thinking of wearing with the chunky loafers and then some white socks. I've watched a lot of TikToks and what people are wearing to the show and it's very Y2K, very schoolgirl. Other option, I have this skirt, maybe a different bodysuit. Like I'm not sure if I'm vibing with this one. And then I also have this skirt, which is very Y2K. Hello, focus. I don't know. Let me see what else I have. Here's another option. I have to put a bra on, but like this is more Y2K, but then I don't know if I wanna wear the loafers with the socks. I do think I like this top better though. Let me try on the other skirt. Let me just try on the socks and the shoes. God, I don't know. This is 
Sanj is so cute with this necklace. OPI. Stila. Stila. Thank you, Mac. <laughs> Mac is here. I sure am. I'm an influencer now. <laughs> Mac's joining the influencer environment. It's been so long since I saw my Olivia name. Rodrigo specific, but. Also true. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> nails being in the photo. I know. <laughs> Guys, we're going to be the oldest people at this concert, and the funniest part is my outfit looks like Lizzie McGuire when she performs in the Coliseum. Yep. In the Lizzie Gabriella, McGuire. obviously. Not awesome. I'm the only it's person wearing color here. No, no, no. There's a lot of purple in here. Okay, these are actually not. But it's kind of funny. Everyone has like the same vibe. Everyone's going to like my future Instagram photo. Thank you so much. Tara Michelle Photography, if you ever want. If you ever want. <laughs> if you want to see her short hair is. <laughs> I'm down here, thank you. Do you have boots on? No, you just have No, but I have chunky boots. I have a chunky feel. Sorry, I But my you. eyelash is like really sticking. The wind is winding no, right now. Mine, no, yours looked good. Mine is like sticking. No, no, no she was like in my eyeball. It's I don't know. Oh, it was sweat. I want to key his car. With an uppercut, tell her such I want you with that blonde girl. You always made me down. I know it. Insecure about yesterday, I drove through the suburbs and pictured I was driving home to you. I was smart. You made me look so naive, sucker. Second floor. Thank you. We're going to our suite to see the best time ever. Yeah, it's not your first time in a suite. Right? No, you? not my first time either. It's been a long time. Last time I was in the suite was uh Beyonce. <laughs> oh, sick. Yeah. Wait, when? Uh, uh, over the summer. summer. I was Taylor Swift, 1989. Oh, you're gonna have I know. <laughs> Beyonce, Taylor Swift, oh, same, same. Queen's pop or whatever. Look at the suite. How sweet. <laughs> Pizza, we got mac and cheese, we got spring rolls, we got tequila soda. What a fun night, I'm so happy. shoes on i hope you all don't really judge me based off of this sarah in the city um, if you actually want to know the real me this is the real me you know I'm, what you know you do it too i take my shoes off 
the first second I can. Long story desperate short. times, desperate measures. Long story short, the bad time. So look, anyways, so don't judge me too much. Um, love and respect. Oh, look at that beautiful dog. It. it has pockets. <laughs> saving my last two packs of dumplings until it was absolutely necessary. Also, I put my bag in my coat just so I wouldn't lose it. <laughs> you know what? 1.20 a.m. Saturday feels kind of right. And there's one final pack remaining, so my mom and I are gonna have to go to Trader Joe's soon. Anyways, I decided on this for my outfit. Went to the concert with Nexus and OPI and they had like a little hair station. I think my butt, is my butterfly still in there? I don't know. How cute though! I felt so cute all night. Like I really like my outfit. My hair is giving. And my darker hair I think was the move. All around, feeling fantastic. The night was so fun. So many friends and sweet. And the concert was so good. Like Olivia was amazing. Concerts are just the best. I think they're the best, most fun ever. And then a big group of us went to the Wee Chief tonight. It was like a classic going out night and it was so fun. I only have one drink at the bar, so it's gonna help me for tomorrow, but this is gonna help me even more. Soup dumplings, fresh sheets that I'm about to crawl into. I'm so excited. Actually, you know what? These are gonna have to cool down, so I'm putting my pajamas on. Okay, so I forgot that I had all these gems on me. <laughs> Mac had brought these little gems to the concert, so I put them in my face over here, and then when we went to the bar, honestly, really fun conversation starter. They just started putting gems on everyone. It was just so funny to watch these guys react to having little gems, and then it was really funny seeing the guys that just like left them on their faces, and then like everywhere you looked, there'd be these guys with these little gems on their faces. It was so funny. Okay, so my post drinking night routine. <laughs> what we're gonna do, liquid IV. This is the only way to survive. Some watermelon liquid IV. We're gonna drink this, and then we have our soup dumplings, which is usually not part of the routine, but it's gonna be, oh, there it is. It's gonna be so good. And as per usual, I always add chili and a crunch and soy sauce. And that is the soup dumpling routine. I'm really excited to crawl into bed and not set an alarm tomorrow. We will see how I'm doing in the morning. I'll see you then. It's kind of a mess in here. I need to clean. Cheers. That's the way to start the day. I honestly don't feel bad today. Love that for me. For sure, combination of liquid IV and soup dumplings. Essentials. We're gonna make eggs though. I think we'll try the uh, gourmet pods today. Look how pretty. I think they're from the holiday collection, so I might have actually had this before. I'm sure it tastes the same as all the other pods. <laughs> you know, now that I think about it, kind of a weird combo to start my day. <laughs> Ginger shot straight to the face. Eggs, and then a side of coffee. I still like have the lingering ginger here, so. Maybe I just wash it down with the coffee. Also, it is 1.15. I woke up past eight and I was like, are you kidding me? Like the day that I don't have an alarm is the day that I wake up early. But I actually went back to sleep, which is not something I usually do. And then I think I woke up again at like 11, got out of bed at like 11.30 and now it's 1.15. And I feel like the day is gonna just fly by because half of it's gone already. <laughs> this coffee smells really good. Actually, it's really yummy. And now I'm gonna have my eggs, and that's gonna be good. I'm gonna try to do some Sunday things today. So like cleaning, I have a massive pile of boxes that I have to go through, like it is essential. The boxes have been sitting there for too long and I really should go through them. So I think we'll do that in a little bit. But I do also wanna finish reading my book club book because book club has passed and I gotta start the next book. And there's too many books. I also wanna start the third Akatar book. So 
maybe I start with braiding for a little bit and then we'll get to cleaning. Okay, it's like four o'clock now. <laughs> I ended up just working on the couch. I did not read at all. Thought I would get a head start on editing for the week, but I am now trying to self-motivate to like do productive things, which really, I really just need to clean. Clean and open up all the boxes. I don't even know why I let the boxes pile up the way they have. I don't know, but we're gonna, we're gonna do that. And I am gonna get dressed. Feels like a good thing to do. A terrible thing has happened. I was just moving some boxes and I was gonna show you the box pile and I moved one and the most massive centipede came out from it and then it ran away. Now I'm gonna have to deal with a centipede. I'm so upset. Oh, I lost it. Fuck. Maybe I should get the vacuum. So not what I wanted for my Sunday. Okay, we're gonna have to start moving some boxes to find it. These things are disgusting. Like centipedes are sick. I can deal with spiders, no problem. It's the centipedes that I'm just like really repulsed by. They have so many legs and they're so long. Oh, definitely went under the console. <gasps> I see it, okay. Oh God, it's disgusting. Ah! Fuck. Did I get it? Nope. It's not sucking it up. <sighs> it gives me the chills everywhere. I feel like this happens every spring. The centipedes come back and then I'm all surprised by it because I feel like I haven't seen one in a long time and I'm like, oh, no more. Oh. I know it's under there. Oh, there it is. Oh, ew, 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 ew. It's in there. It's in the vacuum. It's alive in the vacuum. I feel sick to my stomach. Do you want to see my pet centipede? Jump scare. I'm going to dump it in the toilet. That's so gross. Okay, I'm going to dump this in the toilet. This could have been worse. Could have been worse. Could have been better. <sighs> okay. Sorry about this, this is horrible. Look, there are some things in this world that I think are not for the girls, respectfully. This is it. If you are really chill with bugs, just know I envy you. Ew! And flush. Okay, well, that's it for today, folks. I hated that. Well, now that that's behind us, we're gonna open up all these boxes. Some of them have been opened. I just wanna take pictures of them for Instagram. But I gotta take all these boxes to the recycling today. I have to do it. Okay, first box we have is from Olive in June. Oh my God. We got a whole ton of press-on nails. Very pretty colors too, but I don't really do press-ons. So I think I might give these to Sarah because she is now really into press-ons. Oh, it's a co Oh my God, it's a collab with Colleen Hoover. That's kind of iconic. We have these ones. These are giving it ends with us. <laughs> Very fun for like spring, summer. And then these ones are super spring. Also got the nail polish version of all those colors. So that's kind of great because I can use these on my toes. Look at this, it's like a book. This is so cute. What's in here though? We got a bookmark, nail polish remover pot. This is like a top coat. And then lastly, we got like nail files and stuff. Things to help do nails. Box one, we have a box from Tatcha. Okay, we have their silk sunscreen and then their new lip tints that have SPF 25. Let me know if there's anything that I unboxed today that you guys want me to try out in a vlog and then I'll be happy to do so. We've got a box from Armani. Look at this. Prisma Glass, oil and gloss technology that delivers multi-dimensional volume and shine. What a fun package. That is so cool. Get a lot from Pixie Beauty. I also have a box up here. Do, do, do. Flawless Beauty Primer, H2O Skin Veil, Makeup Fixing Mist, and then lastly, ooh, what is that? Personalized Stamp and Wax. It feels very fancy. Oh wait, it's in the back. Light the wick of the wax. Let the wax drip down into a puddle. Press the stamp firmly into the wax. That's so cool. Would be really cool if this had like a T on it or something. Um, let's see if I can get this down. This is an empty box, okay. We have a vitamin wake up mist, vitamin C sheet mask, and then under eye brightener with vitamin C. Lots of stuff to try out here, guys. Okay, let's see what's next. I think we have just two more boxes. How's this? Oh, <gasps> these are samples for a merch thing. So I'm actually just gonna put that to the side. Final box. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Big box from Charlotte Tilbury. Look at this guy. 
I think if you were to ask me what my favorite makeup brand is, it's gonna be Charlotte Tilbury. I just love everything they have. Pillow Talk Lip Liner, which is my favorite. Pillow Talk Matte Revolution Lipstick. The Magic Serum. Hush Up Lashes, this is so good. Charlotte's Magic Cream. Setting Spray. This is a Pillow Talk Luxury Palette with eyeshadows. Long lasting, easy color. What are you? Just like a little mini eyeshadow. And then we got their liquid blush. And then I'm assuming this is the highlighter. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Gonna go through and take pictures of everything. And then I'm gonna break down the rest of these boxes and take them out. I just watched my vlog clip back to find my phone. Are you joking? That was sabotage. <laughs> okay, back in action. And then I'm actually leaving the house. So we're gonna do this fast. And that's gonna be it for my Sunday. We'll do more Sunday things tomorrow. I gotta be honest. I didn't really wanna do that today. Like I wanted to in my head. But I am tired. So I kind of left the kitchen where you saw it last. I ended up getting home pretty late last night. And so there was no way, there was no way I was gonna continue cleaning when I got back. It was like 1.30? I went to bed at like 2, 2.30. Ugh. So a little tired today, but I didn't want to miss my run. I figured going for a less than perfect run was better than no run at all. So I found some motivation and I did it. And while it definitely could have been better, it also could have been worse. I did four and a half kilometers, 30 minutes. Not bad, not bad. 3.15 now, so I'm gonna cool down. And then once I get my breath back, we're gonna pick up on the kitchen where we left off yesterday and we're gonna clean it. too slowly this afternoon, but the kitchen is clean. The box pile has been removed and that's been really overdue. So I feel really good about that. It's now seven o'clock. Um, the day has once again escaped us. I think I'm gonna get into a bath in like 15 minutes and then make mushroom soup and throw in some gnocchi. Like that just sounds so good tonight. I feel like a nice Epsom salt bath to finish off this half ass Monday. Perfect. <laughs> We're trying our best, I don't know. I gotta work on my sleep schedule right now. There's my soup. Cream of mushroom soup, stunning. Okay, I opted for a, a shower tonight. Honestly, I'm that lazy. Like, I love a bath. They're so relaxing, they're so wonderful, but the thought of like getting in the bath, and then I knew I was gonna be in the bath for like two hours, I just, a nice hot shower seemed really nice. Set three minute timer. No, it's like not budging. Canned soup looks so gross. Like this looks so unappetizing, but I know it's gonna hit. I haven't had canned cream of mushroom soup though in so many years. I don't know why. I just saw it at Shoppers and it just kind of seemed like a vibe. Okay, gnocchi's done. So good. Mushroom soup heated up. Now we combine. This is a girl dinner, if I ever seen one. <laughs> Stunning. This is gonna be so good. <laughs> Honestly guys, I do not feel like I have my shit together. This was not a Monday of all Mondays for me, I will say. The balancing acts, it's kind of everywhere at the moment. Soup is great though. Mm. It's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted. Okay, now we're gonna watch episode seven of One Day. See how far I make it. It's already, what time is it? 8.30, so we'll see. I could actually finish it, honestly. It's episode 10, but I am gonna call it because it's 10? 
now. Actually, maybe I'll watch one episode in bed, but I also just really want to finish my book. I don't know. Either way, I'm not finishing the show tonight, so I will give you my thoughts when I do finish it. Please don't ruin it for me if you've seen it and you know how it ends. I don't know how I made it this far without a spoiler. I feel like it was everywhere, but yet I've made it through somehow. <laughs> Little soft hand drops on the face, get some color back in the skin. It really feels like spring out there now. Like the last few days have been so nice. Although I think that the next three days are gonna be like full on April showers. <laughs> but we've been soaking up all this nice weather until now. And now it's time for bed. Anyways guys, officially made it to my happy place. Best time of the day. <laughs> I think I'm probably just gonna read my book and finish it so I can start the next. I really wanna start the next Akatar book, so I gotta finish this guy. Huge thank you again to Brooklyn and for sponsoring the vlog. If you're looking for new sheets, you can use my code at TaraXMichelle for $20 off any order over a hundred bucks. The link is in the description. Huge thank you to you guys for watching the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.